Welcome to Your House Matters. I'm John Charbonneau with TMG, The Mortgage Group, and CanadianMortgageFinders.com. And this is your August real estate market update for activity in the Vancouver Real Estate Board. Sales statistics for July 2020 have just arrived, and we saw 3,128 homes sold, consisting of single-family, apartments, and attached units. That represents an increase of 22.3% from a year ago, and an increase of 28% from just June of 2020. Safety remains the top priority in the real estate industry. In-person interactions continue to be limited, with realtors, buyers, and sellers employing a wide variety of technology to ensure all parties get as much information as they need to safely make intelligent real estate choices. Home prices have remained steady, shocking those with pessimistic and doom-based attitudes. We are still experiencing a very vibrant real estate market. There were 5,948 newly listed properties come onto the market last month. That number is up 28 0.9% compared to July 2019. The total number of properties listed at the end of July was 12,083. That's a 15.1% decrease compared to July 2019, but an increase of 5.8% from June of this year. We saw 25.9% of the inventory across the board sold last month. For prices to have pressure to come down, you would need to see, month after month, only 12% or less of the inventory being sold. This is the sixth straight month since the pandemic started that we are seeing this level of activity. If you are sitting on the fence, waiting for prices to come down, you might want to get a cushion for your backside as there is no indication of dropping prices. At present, and in most communities, it's still a seller's market. Another month where it is commonplace to have well-priced properties produce multiple offers, as there continues to be plenty of pent-up demand from both buyers and sellers. Now, taking a look at July 2020 prices, the benchmark composite price for a single-family home increased 5%, to $1,477,800 from a year ago. Apartment condo sale prices increased 4.2% year over year to $682,500. And attached home prices saw an increase of 3.7% from July of 2019, with the benchmark price last month reaching $797,800. The area covered by the Vancouver Real Estate Board is quite vast, and this area consists of a substantial number of smaller individual markets. If you'd like to find out what's happening in your local neighborhood, feel free to give me a call, and I can refer you to one of our trusted local real estate advisors. That's the Vancouver Real Estate Market Update for August 2020. I look forward to connecting with you next month.